Everybody, I finished the first bag of my paper bag album that I worked on at the crop this weekend and I wanted to show you what I did. My photo printer is um, out of black ink so I haven't been able to put photos on this page yet but I'll show it to you again once it has photos in it. Um, I'm going to put the links to the Ustream recordings where I put this album together down in the video description uh, so you can check those out if you want to see exactly what I did. Um, and these rings are not going to be how I bind it in the end. It's going to have a ribbon binding with sticky back canvas. Um, but these are just to kind of hold it all together. So this is my first page and um, I included this um, die cut from the collection and I'm just going to put photos, um, on, a photo on the back and maybe some journaling on the front or another photo. And then this is another die cut from the collection that I added a dimensional butterfly to and I have it held here with a paper clip and I put some ledger paper on the back so I can um, journal about where all the photos in this album came from. And the paper clip pretty much stays on the bag. You can remove this and reinsert it very easily. And then here's the large pocket and this is the tag in the large pocket and I added a file folder tab and I'm going to put a file folder tab on every large pocket in the album so that it'll be tabbed on the edges. Um, and this paper is from the Seven Gypsies Conservatory collection and some of these are from conservatory and some of these are from flora and fauna. And then on the back I have a mat for a 4 by 6 photo and a little bit of room for journaling. And then you turn the page and this is the first um, flip page. So I added um, some of this rosette trim and some wild orchid crafts trellis roses that were white and I sprayed them with glimmer mist and moonlight and patina and then I inked them with tea dye distressed ink while they were still wet and then I um, dried them really hot uh, with my heat gun and I got it really close to kind of scorch the paper so you can see how they have a really nice curly distressed look on some of those petals um, where they were um, burnt by the paper a little bit. And then there's some skeleton leaves back here for some added texture and another dimensional sticker from the collection. And these cream leaves are Seven Gypsies Velvet Leaves. And then I twisted the wires from the flowers to make little um, wire curly stems and added a clock um, from Tim Holtz and some of his game spinners to be the clock hands. And then this paper is from the Flora and Fauna collection and this one is from Seven Gypsies Oh no, this is also flora and fauna. And then this flips up and there's a pocket here and I created this tag and this tag um, I stamped with the archival ink in um, sepia and then I sprayed it with several different colors of glimmer mist and then added a prima mask and distressed over it with the tea dye distress ink. Um, and then I put some paper on the back and created my own hole reinforcer um, with some stamping and distress ink. And then I put the edges through my Zutter Distress It All and really roughed them up. And this paper on the back is from the Flora and Fauna collection. And the stamp on the tag is from Inka Dinka Do. And then I just added a simple um, photo mat to the tag as well. And also this tag goes in here and they're tight enough that they don't fall out when you're holding the album upright. And I love the way the tag kind of peeks out down here and adds some more of the blue um, and um, brown there. And then on this page there's another pocket for another tag for two more 4 by 6 photos and there's an additional space for a photo here and that just gets fitted in there. So this is the first bag and what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on in my Ustreams finishing the um, Family Circus album with the Lacerte papers that I've been working on but once that's complete I'm going to um, work on finishing this album. So I'll finish the rest of this album on my Ustream. I'm just not going to work on it again until I finish that Circus album but I'll let you know when this is starting again. And also after each bag I finish I'll do a little YouTube update so you can see and hopefully when I have the second bag finished I'll be able to have photos in the second bag and the first bag and I can show you what this looks like with photos. So I hope you enjoyed that. And then the other thing I wanted to show you, I don't normally do um, haul videos, but I did see some really, really cool paper when I was in Joann's 
um, that I wanted to show you guys because I just think it's right up the alley of the YouTube community and I wanted to let you guys know about it. It's Joann's Exclusives and um, I got these for, uh, these were $9.99. So um, this one is called, um, well, hold on, let me, this one is called, this one is called the Tradewind Stack and it's kind of um, sort of map and nautical themed. Um, it's mostly sort of a navy blue and a um, burnt orange color, but there's a lot of gold foil and really cool elements on the pages, um, like with these keys. See, the, so there's more foil here. It just looks like so many of the pages have gold embossing on them. Here's a map of some blue flowers in the corners. Nice herringbone. And then here's more keys, and the keys have a floral pattern on them. And then they have gold around them, so they'd be fun to cut out and use as embellishments and maybe emboss them in clear. This is a beautiful distressed wood grain. And here's another floral with gold. Um, this whole floral pattern is with gold. And I love the distressed white wood background that these um, patterns are on. Here's a, a gold foil. And this is kind of like a corduroy or a canvas and another foiled mask. And here's some burnt orange keys. Um, the two main colors in this are going to be this kind of burnt orange color and that blue. Um, and I just love these. So here's another one that has just beautiful um, embellishments on it. This is on a grid background, so you could use a white gel pen to journal on this one. And more of the burnt orange now on cream. And this one's kind of like a wicker or rattan woven look. And this is a white distressed wood. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorite in the collection. And here's that floral um, foiling again on the burnt orange. And the uh, um, golden floral and the burnt orange on the cream distressed wood. And the keys are back in a distressed brown. And here's the herringbone and a brown and a buff. And this is probably one of my favorites in the collection. Um, again, this would be super easy to journal on. You can make journaling spots and tags out of this, but just beautiful um, butterflies and moths in this one. And then here's that other one, only in black and brown this time. And then here's the map again, only has gold foiling. There's the compass, the compass rose, and the birds are in foil. So that's tatter or trade winds, and it's beautiful. I love that one. They had four new ones, but these are the two that I like the best. And this one's Tattered Time. This is kind of a grungy mechanical one. And it's all glossy. It's got this varnished finish to it that looks like it's been clear embossed. Here's Fleur de Lis. A vintage typewriter. A more Fleur de Lis. Kind of like a, looks like the side of a trunk. And this has got cool distressing on the edges, like really worn leather, um, clocks and gears, and again, they're all varnished. They have great, great color and dimension on these. Um, all kinds of rulers and tape measures, again, all varnished, would be fun to cut out and use as borders on pages. These letters are varnished again, the letters and numbers on these tiles, and then gears, and they've all been varnished. So. Dominoes, and again, glossy, so they look like real dominoes, real shiny and smooth. And then that, that gear again. I just love the clock on this one. And here's one has got a distressed edge, and I love how the varnish is distressed. See here where it's patchy? I think that was a really cool touch. And this one's very industrial, like the inside of a big machine. There's large gears and teeth and springs and stuff. Um, beautiful floral uh, typewriter um, from the side view, and then the keys up here. Tickets, fun to cut. They'll be fun to cut out and journal. Um, another one of the varnished uh, fleur de lis pattern pages, fleur de lis and floral. Um, another one of those patterns with the frame around the edge. Um, this one's all radio inspired, so there's transistors and knobs and the tubes and, you know, radio fronts and there's a radio there. All the different dials. Very, very cool. The floral again. This one is one of my favorites. Just really ragged looking music page. It's got beautiful 
um, tearing and distressing on the edges. I just love that one. And then the gears again. And it's all, so many of the pages have just beautiful varnish um, printer letters, print setting letters. Um, this is a, looks like a letter that's been read so many times it had to be taped and now the tape is yellowing. This is why you use acid-free things in your books, Lee, because <laughs> that's what happens if it's not acid-free. It just, but it's so cool looking. It's, you know, it's stained in the corners, like it's just been loved and handled. And then a, a lovely floral. And then this one, the clocks. And this is probably my favorite. Um, this large clock face here, this huge clock here, this is distressed. I love the zoom, the zoom on this and the beautiful floral in the background and then all of these gears on the bottom. And the other thing I want to show you is, you know, I find die cuts with a view paper kind of hard to get out of the packages, but these are perforated so they can be torn out. They actually have perforation here, which I like because I have a tough time ripping them out of the glue sometimes with their papers. So I really like that addition. So um, thanks so much for watching. Um, go check these out. They're cool. I saw 12 by 12 and I saw matte stacks. I didn't see 8 by 8. Um, but I'm going to be working on this album again um, in Ustream once I finish the circus album. And I'll put up a video on YouTube to let you guys know when that's going to happen. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.